Jeff can I get live at the poolside of the Intercontinental Hotel and it's a good thing we are poolside because it seems like either Senator Johnson Mathama or Senator Kithuri Kindike will end up in this pool by the end of this show. I tell you, it's getting pretty hot this out here. Cool. <laughs> Keep the tweets coming. We're going to be reading them in a short while. But Senator Mathama, let me ask you this. It seems like you in court, yes, you are the opposition and that's what opposition is supposed to oppose yes. just about everything. But yes. you guys, everything this government does, you oppose. Everything. They, I mean, they, they, they sneeze and you oppose it. Let me clear one thing before we get to that. I will answer that. ICC should be respected and the country should remain there. If it was not ICC with this strong message that some people would be taken there. May I say something? 2013, you would have seen clashes here in this country. Thank God everybody was watching. And I want to say this, everybody was watching and extra careful not to attempt to do anything. Because we all knew, mm. 92, nothing happened. 97, nothing happened. 2002, nothing happened. 2007 is now. So you think we would have slaughtered each other again? I'm telling you, Jeff, let us not just think about two people in this country. Let us look at the 40 million people plus. We will continue being. That is not true, Jeff. You because, disagree? You disagree? Because in and 2002, there was no violence, there was no ICC. No, 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 no. There was violence in 2002. There yeah. wasn't. Kibaki yeah. won and got uh, yeah, power from yeah. uh, Moi peacefully. Let me say, Maybe Bikidik was not in politics at that. He was just, just trying to supervise. It was there. Not as it was in 2007. But let me get into the point now, the question. Yes. Race. Yeah, you oppose everything. Jeff. Things we have kept quiet and we don't criticize they are good things we criticize they are bad we are looking at certain issues like now when uh, when the government says they want security to be managed through Nyumba, uh, Nyumba Kumi. So what we are saying is this we pay taxes we employ police officers we have security operators in this country we want them to be given that responsibility when you look at the laptops, we are criticizing laptops and we are saying at standard one core school, who is seven years old, should not be given a laptop when actually she walks through the rains. When it's raining, this child does not have a car. The rain is just falling on her or on him. And you know this jail as an African, it's not a secret. And that is of 90% of Kenyan school goers children. Okay, okay, fine. What about, calling, what about calling the president a cook? William Mwita Mpishi? You know, Jeff, things are turned around. Let me say Ah, uh, Senator. <laughs> Senator. No, I'm coming That's to That's on Jeff, tape. No, I'm Jeff, coming to uh, I'm Jeff, not hiding. I'm not running Jeff, away. Uh, I'm, I'm not running away. Yeah. There's nothing saying if so-and-so was not because of so-and-so, yeah, he won't be where he is. People are saying, if Muhammad does not have money, he won't be where he is. Uh, he would be sweeping. He would be, if Kidure Kidik is not, a, is, not a, is not a professor in law, he won't be in parliament. He's be doing, up, uprooting Kikwa in Meru. Mm. Those are politics. There's no abuse on that. Uh, are you telling me that cooks should be hanged Jeff. and be eliminated in this country because yeah. they have no value? Right to call the head of state from cook. There was no head of state at that time. Excuse me, Jeff. Jeff uh, there was no head of state. Excuse me. There was no head of state at that time. We were campaigning. And as far as I'm concerned, the person who was on the seat was President Kibaki. Was not Uru. Not unless you tell me they were sharing the power. Oh, no, I'm not going to say it, Jeff. Jeff <laughs> I think, uh, and I'm very serious, yeah. I think uh, the code brigade, uh, Senator Mudama included, should apologize to the majority of the people in this country whose job in terms of livelihood is to cook for other people for pay. They should also apologize unreservedly to the people in this country, civil servants, low-ranking civil servants, whose job is to do clerical jobs because they not only used the term cook in a derogative manner, they also used the term clerk when the president was trying to
deal with some of the long-standing issues in the coast, mm. issuing titles, they owe Kenyans an apology. And I think that was politics that backfired on court. Mm. Uh, you know, squared. So, but, do you have apologies? One more, one, one more thing point. Before, okay. If, if, before he apologizes, uh, I am also disappointed with the quality of the opposition that they are giving us. By now, I would have expected that they have an, a shadow spokesperson in each of our priority areas, infrastructure. For example, mm -hmm. I would have wanted to hear what they say about the railway which the president has launched it today. Just happened happened today. Number just two, today. I they would have... They want us to I, run around no, no, because no. it happened today. Even, no, no, no. <laughs> they do not have even any shadow government. Mm. That's number one. Number two, when they even criticize some of the things Jubilee is doing, they do not offer policy alternatives. For example, if we don't want Nyumbakumi, are you proposing Nyumbatano, mm -hmm. Nyumba Moja, yeah. Nyumba Hamsini? It's just criticism yes, for the yes, sake criticism. of it. Yes, Senator, any apologies? My party leader, any apologies? My party leader was called Watermelon. Why are you not asking me this? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what is a watermelon? A fruit. But you know what? A is a he fruit. didn't mind that. He didn't mind that fruit. title. Eh? Who? Yes. Uh, you know, watermelon. Yes. Yeah. What, what, what do you expect him to do? To go on the streets and start fighting to no, show Jeff, his disappointment? Watermelon is a fruit. Let me finish. It's a very no, no, sweet let him fruit. Not, excuse me. Let him not let mix. Finish. Let him not mix issues. Then finish. He, he called my. He my, should apologize. That. Yes. For saying mm. that doing the work I of a cook my time. or a clerk <laughs> yes. I think it is was my time. Okay. Yes. Yes. It's, it's your time. It's your time. Tell him to try and shut me down. Go on. Give me a chance. <laughs> okay, sir. My party leader was called Melon. Watermelon. Yeah. My, pe my party leader was called in my presence a chameleon. The, the coalition leader, Ray Laudinga, was called Vitenda Willy. <laughs> was called Jamal Wampira. Vitenda Willy no, no. is not derogatory. Yes, yes, yeah. Wait, let me tell you. <laughs> he was called Jamal Wampira. My coalition leader was called a man of Samaki. My party leader was called uncircumcised person. I mean, look at this abusive level of it and tell me who is supposed to apologize let us say this we are past that they is not trying to revive this because they said nasty things yeah. than what we said in our feelings okay let me read some tweets before we go to the next break which is not too far away senator Muthama, this is sky t karish now uh, he says uh, is senator Muthama is playing double standards because he supported a local tribunal and it's changing now why because you're in the opposition I'm say, I say this, Jeff. I supported ICC position mm -hmm. in the tenth parliament. Mm -hmm. I still support ICC position. But I don't you, know said, where... you said you voted for a local. No, 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 no. I said, I said, I whipped members of parliament mm -hmm. to vote for ICC. Okay, Dishon is asking you, Senator. With, with, yeah. with my two leaders, Kalonzo Musioka and Uru Kenyatta. Then them to take the cases to ICC. And they remain in the same position up to today. Senator. Maybe the guy misunderstood us. Dishan is asking, are you an ICC witness? <laughs> I've never been summoned to go there. If summoned, Jeff, I'll go. Good. Frederick Okango is asking, Senator Kindiki, do you still believe in a local tribunal? Yes, I do. In fact, Jeff, all said and done, because the three cases will come and go, this country has very, very serious underlying issues around um, our own making, uh, I mean, our own nationhood. And the only credible way and long-lasting solution lies in a mixture of local uh, justice systems, which are also mixed with quasi-judicial arrangements. Now, that's what Rwanda did. Mm -hmm. That's what El Salvador did. Mm -hmm. That's what Chile did. No country ever resolved some of these problems simply by prosecuting people. Okay, Lazarus Mumo is asking you, Senator, would your position be the same if Raila was the one facing cases at the ICC? I would no. be even more vehement. No. I'm saying I would not even, this one. I would be more... Not at all. No, no, it's my, I've been asked. <laughs> I've been asked whether personally <laughs> the position will be the same. My answer. position will remain the same. So the Butama, you say no? I'm saying if it was Rai Laudingo Kanozo Musioka, Kidiki will be purchasing the tickets. You said but he, he's speaking for Free. me. Spending he's his speaking own speaking money. For me. He will Any not evidence? Sink. 
the government's money. Any evidence? You're speaking for that. me. Any evidence that I do that? <laughs> You've shown. So your position would not change? It wouldn't. What if this state parties conference, what if it was a total failure? Just like the UN Security Council. You say Security Council was what not a failure, failure. But what if they didn't get what they wanted, the state parties? And it would be required to, to show up on February the 5th. We would have continued uh, engaging, including engaging in the court itself. Uh, there are many avenues of engagement. Remember even for Deputy President William Ruto, he started with uh, similar difficulties. But over time, actually, the court has increasingly uh, realize that some of these realities need to be appreciated if that court has to be remain legitimate. Yeah, but but can you... Yes, sir. sir. <coughs> the celebrations of Jubilee are premature. They should not be celebrating. Why do you say that, Senator? What, what has been pulled out there? Tell me, is it because uh, it is uh, the, the hearings now and the case will be conducted through video mm -hmm. link? Mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean, the process is there. So what they should be doing actually now, if I was uh, one of the Jubilee uh, yeah. uh, people, what I'll be doing now is praying for the truth to be established. And whatever the case it comes out, we sit together mm. as Kenyans. All right, gentlemen, on and that note, know, on that note Senator, I'm going to have to take a break. We need to pay some bills. But I want to let a lot of viewers know what your Twitter handle is. What's I your have my handle? checkbook with me. I can write a <laughs> few lines. Oh, oh the Ruby yes, Man. No. I can really check a few lines. Senator, what's your Twitter handle? At Kithura Kindiki. At Kithura Kindiki. At uh, Mudama Gemstones. At Mudama Gemstones. Very appropriate. And mine is at Kainanga Jeff. JKL takes another break. When we come back, we still have to talk about those counties. And also, moving forward, can we now get on with our lives? We're live. Pulls out of the Intercontinental Hotel. And we are back in a moment. Jeff Kainanga live from the poolside of the Intercontinental Hotel with Senate Majority Leader Kithura Kindiki and Senate Minority Whip Johnson Mutama. Twitter handles are Mutama Gemstone, also at Kithura Kindiki and at Kainanga Jeff. All of them hashtag JKL. Lots of tweets coming in and we're going to talk about counties right now. A couple of good questions about counties. Samuel Margaret, it's about you, uh, Senator Mutama. He says, Ask Muthama why he opposes his own governor, Kwani Machakos Iko Turkana. He should support development. Hold on. Martin Chege says, ask Muthama why he's against development in Machakos County. Jeff, I'm a development conscious person to start with. In terms of being in business, employing Kenyans, and assist Kenyans to come up. All what I've talked about in Machakos is the giving free of land. When we fought for the independence of this country, the founding father of this country, of this nation, late Jomo Kenyatta, made it clear to, to, to Europeans that we were fighting for our soil, our land. And in Kenya and Africa, we do not know anything else. Gay, being with the Kenyatta, his name was Bwana Mashamba, because his slogan was Wuru na Mashamba yetu. Oh, what I said is this. There is no way and not one count in the Republic of Kenya that has advertised for free land. There is no free land. But, that, but maybe that's an incentive by your governor. No, no, there isn't to, to where I'm coming. He has no power to give free land. Kenyans, they don't know the word free land. And how you have to defend the land in Machakos that belongs to the community. Are you opposed to the building of Machakos City? What I said is this today and Jeff give me time what I said is this the government of Kenya purchased 5,000 5, acres of land in Konza where the city is going these 5,000 acres is being sold to the investors by the government of Kenya the government has never advertised free land at Konza why this small chunk of land in Machakos or oh, what I'm saying is this let people come and buy okay but cut, don't give the 2,200 acres because this is the only remaining land. At least give a 1,000, keep 1,200 for future development and for infrastructure that will be required to be put up there in the future. 
and the money that will be collected from the sale of the land, the way the government is selling Malini, uh, Konza City, build hospitals here for Machakos people. Okay, so why don't you support your governor a little more? Why are you so opposed to everything he does? Jeff, I've been looking for my governor to sit down with him. Yesterday, there was a meeting, and it was through the media. That was called by the former vice president and nine bishops of the leading churches of Kambani and in that region. He did not come, but I'm not for that. I went and I expressed my case. He has never invited me for any meeting. He only shouted. Governor Alfred Mutua, and you to heard finish, your senator. He wants finish. a meeting with you. Come and arrange it through the bench at any time. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> no, no, let's move on. One, one moment. No, no, no. One, let's just move on. One. We don't just have too much time, Senator. Mm. Senator, thank you. You guys passed a bill today. You all passed a bill. Yeah, we passed two bills. But the one, one about is the, the county? county government uh, amendment bill and the national flags and emblems uh, bill 2013. Right. And basically, you are you are cutting a lot of the powers of the governors, aren't you, when it comes to devolution? We have not touched on a single power that the governors are supposed to enjoy because uh, powers are constitutional, they are lawful. So we have not touched on any of them. What we are trying to do, Jeff, is uh, two things. One, with regard to the county government amendment bill, we are trying to say that right now, because of devolution and so many funds which are uh, going to the grassroots, and that's a good thing for the equalization of our country, there is need to synchronize those funds so that if, for example, through CDF, uh, a cattle dip is, is built, the same uh, the county government doesn't use the Miyaga resources in the same village to set up a cattle dip uh, one kilometer away when maybe the need would have been a dispensary. So it's just to create a forum where leaders can agree mm. and, uh, and, 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 and see oh, priorities. That's the point. Oh, sure. But what that about is, the emblems and all that? The because emblems thing, no, I that, think... That is what governors is, want their emblem, emblems? No, really, because the issue of flags and emblems is because we have also realized uh, so many people got elected and the people are very confused at the grassroots because they have so many elected leaders. And we are saying uh, we want to simplify life for Wananchi because uh, if you call me senator, that is enough. That is enough. You don't have to put other prefixes. Not even if honorable. You govern, no, no, no. no. Just senator. No. We don't want. Oh, governor excellency. is governor. No. no, 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 no. There's no reason. You want to There's be no called need. Senator K K yes. K K K yeah, yes. that's enough. Senator Mudamba. But governors want to be called and your excellency. that's what happens all over the world. That's what happens all over the world. Yeah. So we want to simplify uh, uh, things. Uh, the issue of uh, national flags also. We, we, we also want to regulate that mm. because, again, the uh, devolution and by the way every time we do some of these things people say we are fighting governors and, and therefore fighting devolution yeah. devolution is not senator it's not governor the so centerpiece of devolution mm. is the people okay real quick some tweets here and, and um, it, it's a question for you but it applies to both of you I know you're the majority leader but let me ask you this one Kitungo Wamera says ask them uh, what your take is on the, the debate about the scrapping of the Senate they think the Senate should be done away with completely. Jeff, the Constitution is very clear. It says we'll have two levels of houses. One is the Senate, which is referred by in the Constitution as the upper house. That is very clear. Our mandate, Jeff, we, we, are not talking about, we are not talking about going to the counties to drive cars, no. We are not going to say we want to go to the counties, take money, start building hospitals. No. What we are saying is the constitution through Article 96. It mandates us as senators, one, to defend and protect the resources of all the 47 counties. That's our mandate. So it starts from there by seeking for money to be given by the central government to the counties, number one. Number two, once the money is given, we are the oversight providers. So we need to see what is it happening with the money. And if you try to listen, other than just focusing on Mudanga, there is no one count that you can say the governors are working with clear understanding 
with the senators because our issues are being filled to be of investigators. As senators, do, and you, think we are you, not investigators. do you think you've done a decent job so far? We are doing a good job, Jeff, but quickly, yeah. I would love to do justice to the question of whether the Senate needs to be there. Yes. I find that debate uh, misinformed and based on a lot of uh, ignorance, with due respect, for the, for the simple reason that if you listen, uh, the reason people are using is the wage bill. Yet Senate is even the smaller house, so it's even a contradiction of the whole idea. But in terms of functions, I want to uh, tell Kenyans that in all countries where you have a devolved system of governance, whether federalism or the county system, it is automatic that you will have two chambers. The size of those chambers could vary. We could even have 50 senators and maybe 100 members of the National Assembly if the idea is to cut the wage bill. But the second chamber must exist, and the sole purpose of the second chamber is to ensure that they protect the units, counties or federal states in, in federal countries, so that their interests are protected without losing the nationalhood of the entire country. So. If, if, if the debate was whether or not Senate should exist, yeah. you should tie that debate with the question whether devolution should exist or not. Okay. And if the answer is that we don't need devolution, yeah. then perhaps the answer would be we don't need Senate. Okay, got two more minutes left. I'm going to give you a minute each. Senator, you first. Closing thoughts. Jeff, and and know, don't attack the president. I stand <laughs> for the unit of this country. I stand to be a Kenyan. And I want Kenyans to be given that opportunity to feel that they are in their own country and they are Kenyans and they have that freedom to speak, debate issues. And they should allow to be challenged by Jeff and not to be disappointed. I should allow to be questioned by people who elected me, by any person on the street, stop me and ask me, why are you not doing this? We should allow that to take place so that we can form and build a united country. And that number will be seen to be a person who comes from that corner of this country or from, from that community of this country, or a person who is just being feared to be a person who is out to criticize. Mm. Very last one. I want to call upon the government of Jubilee, or the Jubilee government that is now uh, ruling this country, to know and recognize that we are in the opposition. Our work and our business and mandate in the opposition is to criticize the government on the wrongs that it's doing so that we can be able to allow checks and balances. Okay, real quick. If that is not there, yes. then there will be no democracy. Before uh, Senator Kidiki gives us his uh, rebuttal, any apologies to the Cooks and Karanis? Jeff, I don't want to refuse things I said when I was doing politics. <laughs> Neither, I'm not going to ask anybody to repeat, to repeat what they said about me right. and my colleagues Senator when Kidiki. we were Jeff, campaigning. Jeff, I'll thoughts. start from where you have stopped. Because my brother here and his coalition do not believe in humility, and because even if he's in the opposition, is a politician like me, I want to apologize on his behalf and on behalf of his coalition. You don't need to do that that's, on my behalf. No, no, I no, am no. my because own mouth. I, I can do that. I think as yeah, politicians, I'm saying, I'm saying as a politician, as a fellow politician, he should do it on so his behalf sad and behalf when of Jubilee. We reduce our rhetoric into making jokes that we think are actually jokes. Because by the time they were talking about it, they, th they thought maybe it's a good joke. But this is a joke that is a, a, a very, very, very bad joke. So I want to say I'm sorry on behalf of all politicians, whether from the majority or from the minority. Having said that, I want to say two things. Number one, Jeff, is that um, we would, we recognize and respect the opposition. And in fact, some of the things that the opposition say we are using them to, 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 to perfect our act. And that's why there is need for opposition. But we would require more from them in terms of whether, where they disagree with us in terms of a policy. They should offer a policy alternative. They should say this is not good 
but this is good for the following reasons. That's what makes uh, opposition politics constructive. Yeah. But this idea of just saying we don't want this, we don't this, we want this, is not helping anybody. Finally, <laughs> with regard to the role of the Senate, uh, as I have said, uh, we passed two bills today, and next week. Three other bills are coming for second reading. Mm -hmm. The KEMSA bill, which is on health. Right now, there is no linkage because between KEMSA and uh, health uh, facilities which are devolved to counties. There is one also on uh, alcoholic drinks, uh, an amendment bill. And the community land bill, a very important bill that tries to secure the former trust lands which were in county governments to be able to allow them to be transferred to counties. So the Senate of Kenya yes. is working. Maybe the number of bills may not be as many as uh, people would have wished. For us, our concern is on the quality of debates and the quality of our outputs, right. not the quantity. <laughs> At the end of the day, yes. despite the arguments, despite the back and forth, despite being on opposite sides of the political divide, yes. you all are friends, aren't you? Oh, we are friends. Definitely sure. We come Def from the former eastern province. That's right. Lower East. Lower Eastern. Not only that, and, uh, in the chamber, we sit next to one another. Precisely. And we keep on making some kind of And that's why jokes. I apologize. I'm surprised. On instead because, of apologizing on behalf of the We're apologizing to each other. Gentlemen, let me make him up. Thank you. I apologize. He's apologizing to me. Oh my. Now they're apologizing to each other, folks. What's going to happen next? We're going to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. Keep tweeting us. The hashtag is JKL. At Mutama Gemstone. At Kithure Kindiki. At Koinange Jeff. This is where it's said. I keep saying this, we've got to keep talking and talking and talking and debating on top of that. Because the minute we stop talking, it's the minute we start fighting. We don't want to go down that slippery slope. Thanks for watching. Jeff Green, I get live right here at the poolside of the Intercontinental. Next week, new guests, same time, 7.45. Spread the word. Thanks for watching. The news continues with Linda Ugutu and Ben Kitili right here on Kenya's television network, KTN.